going on? That's the man of the year right there. Uh oh. It's that, that nigga that turned the eye. Like three what? What is it? What is that, bro? You see that? You see the eye, man. You see it's the eye. You see the eye. What's going on, good brother? He said he Google. You heard? He said he took my spot. You know what I'm saying? Go on mine. Oh, what? You know what I'm saying? He he trying. Try, to... Trav, I'm on a run right now, Trav. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh damn! Uh, don't don't send me the pin drop, man. Yeah, he turned a ninety. I I could vouch. He turned a ninety four dollar account to like, you know what I'm saying, three twenty. I don't know where he's at now, but like, you know, what I'm he did how it. Many, how many days you did that at? What, what you mean? Since last I just started last mm-hmm. week, bro. Yeah, oh, last. I thought you were about to say last night. I'm about to go throw my hat oh, no, in and go no, down no. to North Carolina. <laughs> I need a guru. <laughs> <laughs> I quit my job. But I'm nah, saying, bro. though. I mean, still I mean, good, me though. And Bri- me and Bri were talking about it, though. So you know what I'm saying? Like, that nigga, he, he swing. So, you feel me? That nigga just swing his way to. But I ain't going to hold you, though. He I ain't mad at that. I just turned a $58 count from yesterday. My shit at, like, you know what I'm saying? He the one that's really flipping shit, though. You know what I'm saying? You the one that's fifty eight dollars and then just you know what I'm saying? Go one said right now. Damn, you know I feel like a little bitch compared to y'all. I'm over here, yeah, five percent a day, five percent a day. Y'all over here making thirty percent a day. 90%. I mean, ain't no wrong with that though. Ain't no wrong with it. God damn, I'm broke. Let me hold a dollar, brothers. He talks. Let me. Hold it. <laughs> you know, let me, let me, let me fund my. I'll account. let me when I get a couple K's in my account, man. It's on the way though. <laughs> Yo, I'm broke, uh, baby. If I can get if I can get two K in my account, I take a flight to, to Philly, man. Fuck it. Hey now, I think we about to be all in the same boat real soon again. I'm telling you, boy, boy, word up. Real know how real know how it is, man. We on the East City wave, man. You know how it is. You know, y'all were talking about the East City last night. I'm like, yo, how? Where's the map? How can I Google that? How 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 do, how do I get to this East City? East shitty man, not East City. East shitty. Oh yeah, East shitty. Yeah, the East shitty. Yes, East right. shitty. Oh, I gotta, take a la- I gotta take a laxative for that. I don't know about this. <laughs> you gotta put that roll it off the tongue. <laughs> you gotta roll that shit off the tongue. Shitty. Oh, that's that money. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying, brother. Yeah, like that. Oh. But if y'all miss, if y'all think GN, y'all think GN look beautiful. Wait to this GJ. GJ? Yeah, I'm on that GJ too. Wait to this, wait to this GJ. We, bro, I'm telling you. I'm in it already. Yo, you for the long, right? Yeah, I, yeah look, I'm back. It should just hit my tape, my entry. Yeah, I'm in it right now. I should have waited. GJ right now? Yeah, I should have waited. I know we got some more uh push down. I was about to say, yeah, we probably got a little more push down for real. But I mean, if you in it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, it body, you know what I'm saying? You know going I'm gonna through scalp it. through it. Like I'm yeah, gonna scale up. I'm, well, not scalp. I'm gonna scale up. So okay, uh, okay. once we get to this range right here, let me go into one hour. Once we get into this zone here, and it gets that push up, especially around the three a.m. Eastern time yeah. for us. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna wake up at four, scale back in, and then whatever. Take it all the way to the rocket. How you really could do it though? What's up? I really did it though. Like on this news, bro, I just put like a little buy stop or something. Okay. You know it's gonna push through. You know what I'm saying? You know it's coming to a key level. It's gonna push through. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where it sets. You could easily put like a make sure you put it out of the range so it won't get touched and then come back down. But you know what I'm saying? Put it like put it at like a fib level or something. Like a fib level that it already broke. Like put it. Put a buy stop like right there, and then yeah. as soon as it passed that, you know, what I'm saying? it just explodes. Yo, it's funny that you said that news was there. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I didn't know that that news was there. You didn't even I, know the news was coming. Yeah, like if you saw my screenshot. Yeah, I did, but you was on the other. You was on my FX book. See, I use Forex back. Nah, I was on um tradingeconomics.com. Oh, that's something else. Oh. Yeah, so they didn't even have that on there. So, like, oh, damn, hypothetically, let's say. Hypothetically, let's say this trade would have went against me, I would have been tight. So I'm glad yeah. you posted that because I'm like, even though I already had my my move already in, I'm like, all right, cool, I'm going long. But yo, yeah. that, if I didn't know about that news, I would have never put that that trade up. Yeah, Sorry, the truth. I, I'm either really only betraying like when heavy news is, bro. Whoa, 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 man, that's not. I don't know. 
And that's not my style. That's definitely not my style. <laughs> <laughs> we, done, we done definitely, we done that. De- shit, he done definitely got us right with that too. Humbled us real quick with that. Bro, I'm not going <laughs> trade. Like, but if you got the bias already, you got all the technicals lined up. But it all means the news is gonna go with it. But you don't never know. You don't know exactly. if you're true. You don't know if your trade gonna go with you. Period. Like. Whoa, know. whoa, whoa, whoa! You better know your trade gonna go with you. you don't know. You can't say you know. You don't know nothing. Then what the market gonna do? It could do nah, nah. Yes, it could. You can't just say, "Oh, I know this about to do this." You Yo, I, I'm not saying it's a hundred percent, but I'm trying to have the odds in my in my favor at least sixty right. seven percent. That's what I'm saying. If the odds already in your favor, like so you get the technicals wise, like that's all you can know. That's all you know. But like, I right, the problem, but from what you know, what I'm saying from my strategy, from what I tested, the problem, uh-huh. you know, what I'm saying is of me losing money is you know, what I'm saying is less than you know, what I'm saying you get what I'm saying. Me I got you. I got you. I see what you're saying. Ah. So now, Either way, you talking about, oh, no, nah, but, but it's, at the end of the day, you don't know. So it's just like, all right, just still follow you. It's fine. You feel me? Like, what? You That's know? true when you put it that way. But at the same time, me personally, I've been it's burned so many bad. times from the market because of news. I don't want my trades in during news because I'm like, all right, cool. My trading plan is going to be right, but the news is going to get manipulated. The market is going to get manipulated because of this news. It's going to pull all the trades out. And it's gonna go in a direction, so well, I don't want to be caught up in that. Gonna, hey, yo, that's when all the good moves happen. When it's news, yeah. But the thing is, you can't prove what directions you gotta. You gotta watch it and then jump on the way. No direction is in the market. No, it, we just we're in a cycle. We just said it this. In higher highs, it could be creating lower lows. It could right, and then all of a sudden it just shoot you to the like. Damn. All right, you know what? It's funny that you said that. All right, I, you remember last week when we was looking at uh, EU? Yeah. All right, bet. This is going to prove the point. Like, EU, you just, like, the news pushed it to where, like, it pushed it, like, exactly what I said. but like Exactly. But it, it, it literally pushed past the level. Literally pushed past. It went to a weekly level instead of a daily level, like I thought it was going to go. It went to a weekly level, then drop rather than going to the daily level. Exactly. Really yeah, but we already knew that the news was going to push it up because it, ha- it had to touch that key level. <clears throat> exactly. So, like, so it's that you can trade it. You can, but at the same time, we always going to go short. Our, all all our, our bias was going to go short. So sure. we, pre- we couldn't predict that the market was going to move this far up. And then, yeah, all right, cool. I, I knew it was going to push. But you can't predict if the, like you just try to say, you try to predict the market was going to fall. You can't predict the market. That's what No, I'm no, but see, you're, you're nah. on one word. The, look, but, right. we still got the flow. We still are right. Our bias is completely right. We yeah. have short. That was the bias. Unfortunately, because the FOMC meeting, yeah, it pushed the market. It pushed it, and yes, we knew that we needed a push up to accumulate yeah. orders. But we I didn't think no way to predict that it's high. That yeah, was that manipulation. Me yeah. personally, I don't like this manipulation. That's why I'm like, I'd rather wait. Bong, cool. Now it's back to my bias. I think you can't right. predict how much the market is gonna move, but at least you could predict the bias. Are we gonna be bears or bulls? You know what I mean? You can predict that at least. But you can't. But you really don't know. Though. Nah, nah, you know. Like, yo, this is the bias. I that's knew that this saying, was- When you start thinking, you know, you're going to, that's what I'm saying. You just can't, oh, all right. Yeah, but what he's trying to say is, bro, like, we, like, I knew we, we, this jump, like, like, we knew this jump was going to say it, and we knew the news was going to push up. We just didn't know how high to push. I know that, bro. I'm just getting, I get what he's saying, but I'm just getting to the point, bro. Like, you just. You can't, you don't, you just can't say you know the market with the market. Oh, no, no, no. Absolutely, no. yeah, you're right. No, no, no. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody fortunate to no psychic. You don't know what is going to, it shoot up. Look, look, we I mean, won't know until down the road. We going to know how the market's going to move, but right now we don't know. Like, don't I'll just know. say that. Right now we're not at that table yet. Yeah, we, but we ain't, we ain't done. Like, we don't know. But not even, yet. Not know, yet. Like, we don't got, like, so it's like, and we don't know. Like, so it just could, like, it could do anything. You know what I'm saying? So, 
You just can't. I don't know. The shit. I don't know. This three eight level for GJ right now. GJ. Jesse looks nice. Mm. I can see why y'all took a buy. I can see why y'all took that. Mm-hmm. I'm in. I can, see, I can see why y'all took that. I can see why y'all took that. I'm in it. I can see why y'all took that. That's nice. I'm in it. It was definitely like a consolidation zone, and then three eight just sits on top of that zone. So I definitely see what y'all why y'all took that. So, well, I'm gonna put my guy on this book call, man. Yo, put him on. I'll wait. Honestly, I'm going to talk about what we always been talking about, impulses and flags, honestly. Is anything that y'all want to talk about today, about technicals? No, I just want to chill. G oh, yeah, technicals, yeah. I got I got some shit to say about that. All right, cool. GM was a perfect... Nah, let me go over GM. Hello? We're going to be wanting the boys to be great, man. So, man. How do you think? All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, right? Hey, that don't look good, bro. Oh, I said, like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me, hold up. Hold up, let me share my screen for a second. Share your screen. Let me share my screen for one second. Go ahead. Bro, I just want, you know what I'm saying? I just want to work on So, so... You know what I'm saying? You no, know, Milwaukee. That's that's crazy. You got what? Milwaukee tonight. That was crazy. Milwaukee. Oh, that was a game tonight? Mm-hmm. Against what Houston? Happened? What happened? It was good? Or are you just saying like... No, I was, I was looking at this recap. Watch this play out, you feel me? So you predicting oh, the market? Okay. No, I ain't predicting the market. So what you talking about? What you saying? Watch it play out. That's all I'm saying. Oh, you let it, oh yeah. play out. <laughs> I don't know what it might do. You see? I don't know what it might do. I don't know. I'm gonna react to it. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But oh look. But now nah, I just want to show my. I just want to show the fit. Hold on. Let me go to the show the fit. Work on this shit. You feel me? Damn. You feel? Look at the fit work. Hold up. The breakdown, bro. The breakdown. Feel me? The big bang. Oh, you talking about CP3 just crossed him off the court. Damn. Look, look. look at this. We get that. That impulse? No. Not even. Look at this. We get that. Um, oh, that impulse and correction, too, right here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, we see that. But look, I'm talking about just feds. We get that um that's for me on this. All right, you got this. This what I'm getting right here. I'm trying to get it right here. This uh but all right, we got this. We got this six one we got this six one eight pull back right here. All right. That is how I knew this shit by the lineup, bro. Then we got this six one eight right here. Or oh, this bigger trend on the uh the four hour. Look at the confluence, though, bro. Right here. Can you get the auto? Cause I can't really see the chart. Thank you. Sure. We get this um this fed right here. We get this uh six one eight six one eight pullback on this uh daily fed right here, right? And it's respecting the fifty of that fed. As well, mm. right here with his uh, right here with my mouth side, my okay. curve side, boom. Right, then when you pull it down, you get this, you get this uh, this fit right here. This retracement was a six one eight, right, and in that same area with a uh, daily fit, daily uh, fit. 50% feedback. That right there, right there, automatically, like, right? you know what I'm saying? Coming off a key level uh, 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 of um, a nine, a nine, a 1.9, right? Mm. And that's where your 618 at. I mean, your 618 on your daily feed, key level. It's automatically key level right there. Right? Then you got this 9-1, then you got this uh, one, uh, one nine, uh, one nine one, right? On the on a fifty level, 
or that daily fed with the uh with this hourly fed, or you can say four hour fed right here as well. Then you got a double bottom with another double bottom inside of the oh my god. Just beautiful to just then you feel me, then line up with the fed. You know what I'm saying? But you can have I'm about to I'm about to hop on the um, I got in my laptop so right quick. All right. Hold I just, just want to take a break. Now, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, God. Hold up, hold up. One more, one more, one more. One more, one more. Just got to get the uh, breakdown of the boy, the baby. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. Check him out. Fed work. All fed work. Oh, that's GJ? G- G- yeah. I already got it right here. All right, boom. We got this. Right, we got this. Um, I'm trying to see what I got. Uh, we got this right here. It's six one eight. I had deleted it, but we got this six one eight. Um, pullback daily time frame. That's a daily time frame, right? Mm-hmm. Bigger move. Boom. Then we got then we got this move right here. We got this move right here. You know what I'm saying? Around that 52, around that 618. And if you pull a, uh, if I add my 786 right here, that'd be, if you're respecting that as well. And then you could uh, see it came down here with that 886. Boom. Right. Then this fib is also lined up. Also lined up with, with uh that fifty of um fit that fifty uh that fifty on a daily time frame. Hmm. Oh, another confirmation confluence with that uh around that uh seventy eight six range. Another confirmation, right? Then you can see as far as like. But that's about it, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I got to really see much. I got to clear my chart, though. You know what I'm saying? But then look, but look, then then I have finesse it too, right? For this pullback, right? For this bar, I'm about to catch right here. You can see if you catch track, you trace this move right here that's happening. You can see that uh six one eight. That's six one eight, right? Or uh, this uh this hour or four hour um pullback right here, right? It's smack dead in the middle of that uh six that channel, uh, right? That sixty two and that eight eight six. If I if I write if I pull my um my my seventy eight six right, which is another key level. I just ain't got it on my chart right now on, on my field level, but you can see how that lines perfect up, perfectly up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, this, and, and you know, so it's like, you can see the confluence with the feds. And that's also, that's also, you know what I'm saying? Like a little uh, major level of one point, uh, 145, 500. That's amazing. You know what I'm saying? With the breaker structure, with the breaker structure, you know what I'm saying? And then what I see what I see possibly happen, right, happening is we getting a push up to this six one eight of this drop, right? Six one eight area up to uh probably that um seventy um uh one forty seven right? and you pull that and I pull my six one my seventy six right there. Look look how that shit line like you know what I'm saying, right? in that same area. But then it's line smack dead with that negative sixty two level. Right there. You get you see it? Yeah. See you see the fib the, 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 the uh so now I know this like you know what I'm saying, this bar right here lines up with this set that I'm looking for. That in my take profit. You know what I'm saying? One of my take profits. Yeah. And, then, and then as you can see, right? Um for this, but for this, like I see a long term buy, right? In uh, in GJ, right? 
but I see an inverted head and shoulder happening before we actually get that long term box. So okay. my fib, I'm reading from my my fibs, right? I can see, like I said, I want to see a push up to either the six sixty two or this uh, uh seventy eight six. More likely seventy eight six, basically based on you know that confluence we got right there. But then we also got this, you know what I'm saying? This uh twenty three twenty three percent as well in that same area. Right? So now as I um, as I'm looking, right, this this drop right here, this pullback, you can see how this the six negative sixty two I'm perfect up with, you know what I'm saying, the kills on the eighty six. Bonds perfect perfectly up with that. And then if you zoom out on a daily time frame, that also lines up with a uh, that also lines up with an inverted head and shoulder. Ah, okay. That, now, if you ask me, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I don't know how you see how perfect it lines up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't make this up. You, know you really I mean? can't. I can't make this up. It's crazy how you got that inverted head and shoulders already there, though. Like, that's that's the bigger play. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I believe. And that's what I'm following, you know what I'm saying, based off, based off, you know what I'm saying? Those so technical. Because, you know what I'm saying, Grandmaster Fed, you know what I'm saying, it don't, it don't lie, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Say nah, no. You know what I'm saying, but... Look, yeah, yeah, you feel me? But look, but look, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, fib, fibs, man, it could tell you a whole story, but you know what I'm saying? Just got to pay attention. Yeah. Now look, even like this, you come on a higher time frame, this is what I'm projecting like. Like overall, for us to really come up here into these zones up here, you know what I'm saying? Because based off what we getting right here, we getting the double bottom. And if we if we take our fib from right here to right here, right? Boom! Look how that shit just line up in these zones. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So we can mark this zone. You know? Cause we gonna get up here soon, probably like you know what I'm saying couple years, but you know what I'm saying? We should be trading the zone. And then you can see how we got that off this off this pullback, off this uh, Fibonacci right here, right? You can see how we got that, that amazing pin bar right here at that uh at that uh six one eight and then and then that inverted head and shoulder plays right on that fifty fifty uh, fifty uh, 50% of Fibonacci. You know what I'm saying? I'm just... You got the system. Technically speaking, you got it. Hey, look, man. I'm going to pass it back to my man, Trav. I ain't mean, you feel me? I just want to drop some nuggets. No, no. That's what we're here for. I know I got something, right? I want to get the word. Hey, yo. I ain't going to say Not on the webinar. <laughs> this is a pro this is a professional one, I right? we gonna keep it professional. Hey I you got something? Oh, wait, he already don't went over GN and stuff, did he? Nah, no. I ain't over GN. I just went over like GJ. I, just, I went over GJ mainly, but I, I I just when I went over GN, I was just I was joking for real. I was just you feel me, it was just now I wasn't no joke though, it was real like feel me, but like I was just I ain't going like detail. I just went in, uh, DJ. So you could, you know, do your thing. Do your thing, Mister Invest. Come on, bro. Do your thing on the charts. Screen your I know the name. I e invest, my nigga. You know your name. You know the name. You know the name. I say you know the name. Calm down. <laughs> Hey, you see what I mean? He turned for no reason. Look, he he turned into Master Feb and he he switched up. 
Hey, yo, look. You, bro. Hey, yo, look. Hey, look. All I'm saying, this is supposed to be professional. We would come back. You know what I'm saying? This is chill out Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? We just yeah. go. That's that's what we put that on the, on the YouTube on the, in a in a playlist. Chill out Tuesdays, you feel me? You know, we just yeah. checking when we talking, chilling yeah. out. We gonna do we gonna do fundamentals and technicals in the same day, so we could line them up and we could you know what I'm saying? Exactly. We are gonna do it like that. So technical fundamental and technical Wednesdays. Chill out Tuesdays, baby. We got you know what I'm saying? Catch some kids all the weekend. I see that boy that that boy Rolf, uh Rose from the dead, man. <laughs> Where, bro? Same like Kane. The, the under pepper. The under pepper. That's a nice little daily zone in there. For, uh, well, who y'all talking about? You under pepper? You. <laughs> you the uh, under pepper. Oh, you call him the under pepper. Oh. Hey, yo, hey, yo, stop saying the N word a lot, too. My bad. Hey, hey, yo. Hey, yo. Uh, first of all, cool. I ain't here from IE in a minute, yo. Hey, yo, first of all. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, I hit this on me, bro. Nah, I hit this on me. Quill, you haven't posted in the chat. In right, front. right. I have been in the chat. And, and everybody put when we was in there, wow, everybody started trading. Damn. And we even spread some feelings in the chat. You didn't yeah. join the chat. <laughs> we didn't feelings in the yeah. chat. Right, I'm, I'm going to go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back. You know what I'm saying? I bet you can't even know the, the last funniest meme that been that uh you know what I'm saying that got dropped. Not the meme, uh uh sticker. <laughs> nah, that joke you supposed to have me rolling. <laughs> stickers, bro, I'm telling you, bro. Those stickers is crazy. <laughs> My God. Hey, hey, no, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this man is from the dead. Like we <laughs> Yo. Oh, I'm gonna show you how, uh, I'm out just nah, we Mark. back, man. I just wanted to tap in, man. What's Jesus. going on, crack? Hey, hold on, hold on. I hold on. I you don't start your master with real fast. We gotta play in the game that you feel me. We ain't here for it, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Years, man. What's going nah, on? man, it's been a week. I did the math. I did the math. Nah, man. I've been working on some things. I got a lot of going on. But, um, I ain't forget. I'm still, I'm still seeing. I still see everything. I'm still in tune, as you see. I'm in here, so I see what's going on. I like it. Uh, samples on the way. Uh, you know, let let let's run it up. I want to hear what I want to hear what y'all got going on. I see the market treating everybody good, huh? Yeah, man. So, man. Yeah, I see. Oh, this, uh, this Joe. Yeah, that's Joe. Yo, <laughs> you. I see you doing your thing, man. What you want? You went to London or something? How London? Uh, Canada? Yo, we we trying to get it ground up, man. We about to take the ship to Toronto, so yeah. Yeah. everything everything was a go. I just well, lady, let's get good. it. Go ahead, that ladies and gentlemen, man. So you know, what I'm saying? we catch pitch and pitch the flights. You heard? Hey, talk that talk. Look. Hey, look. That's the, that's the type of those are the type of things I like to hear. I mean, who, whose chart is this up there? Right now? This is mine. It's I. Yeah. This my. Oh, okay. That's oh. my uh, oldest right there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Well, my youngest. That's my. That's my junior for real. You know what I'm saying? He got the whole. Style. He got the whole style. He do though. He do though. Yeah, they ain't gonna give me my credit. You feel me? It's okay, you know. You know what I'm Yo, saying? how long you? How long y'all gonna be on here? I wanna look at the charts with y'all. It's chill out Tuesday, man. Oh, it's Tuesday. I'm gonna be here probably about like probably about fifteen, twenty minutes. We're gonna be about. Hey, yo, well, leave it up. I'm on a chart so I can Oh, bro, can I talk? Good God. I've been trying to talk this whole time. I can't even get a word. You ain't saying nothing, bro. I was happy to say what up to Joey. You feel? I was happy to get that out. <laughs> oh, hey, yo, now I'm trying to be funny. My boy picked that. But now, here we go. Um, I'm going to move on. Uh, like I said, I was in this. I was in this last week. You feel me? Trendline touch. Caught that trendline. Caught that uh that entry off the trendline. Waited for the retest, which is the retest we was talking about uh 
I was with uh, Brill and whatever last, well, Brill and, and Trav last night. We was talking about that. Um, so easily, you see, I don't, I mean, I got like, yeah, I got daily zones. I do got some old shit up here. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I mean, pretty much just a bunch of trend lines and just daily support resistance. You feel me? We're starting to get some resistance here at that, at that trend line, which lines up with my negative 6-1 off the field or whatever. So as long as I knew, since I knew that we got a daily in golf that next day, I already knew we was going to get, you know, some type of pullback so I can really get a better entry. Um, really going to daily in a four hour, you can really see everything like play out perfectly. We had a lot of, had a lot of consolidation here around that, you know what I'm saying, around that 61 level before we shot up. If we go to the one hour, then we can see we got like a double top, you know, we got a, uh, a uh, doji down here, doji with an engulfing following after that. Then we came back down for a double bottom around that 618 level. Then, I mean, the rest is just, I mean, this is way, this is right before, you know what I'm saying, right before news and all that. We had this today, had a little jump, came back down during US, US session. And then when that news came out, NZD News, I mean, you just connect the dots for real. Fundamentals with, you know what I'm saying, with the, with the technical things that they got out right now. So um, that's just the way, uh, hold up, that got us in the way. Yeah. Uh, now, me, the way that I'm, the way that I trade, I'm, I swing this. Like, I'm, I'm definitely swinging this. The reason, I'm going to show you all what I was looking at, uh, the reason why I wanted to where my really, my true take profit is. Um, hold on, I gotta get this, hold up. All right, uh, you see how we got, you see how we got a uh, an engulfing here on this, on this weekly? Got an engulfing on that weekly with the trend line, with that trend line touch, but it never, it gave you the trend line touch, but it never, it never closed uh, over the body of this, of this weekly candle, which should show you that you know, we're still heading towards, you know, we're still going towards the upside, which is why I drew the field from the trend line touch to the top of when we started, you know, until we got an actual retracement. I actually held this over the weekend. Um, had this over the weekend. As soon as the market opened, I closed some profits because it opened up, opened up a lot higher than where I, where I was. It engulfed this, which showed that, okay, it engulfed on a four hour, so that means we're due for a retracement, which is okay. Due for the retracement, come down, drew the fib, go to the one hour if you want to see the price action. The price action was the double bottom. That was your confirmation. Four hour, we kept we got kept getting wicks, wicks around the 618. Came back down, came up, came back down again, stayed patient. It explode. Blew past the negative two seven and then now it's to the negative that negative six one. I took some profits on this. Um, I'm definitely waiting on another, uh, probably another push down. I don't really see, I don't really, I don't really see too many, re, like, new many retracements on GN. That's just me, I guess. Uh, so like I say, yeah, close some of those profits, move those, move those stop losses to, to break even slash stop profit. Risk free trading ain't nothing wrong with that. So even if it does go back, you know, even if you, you know, what I'm saying you could have got the entry wasn't as good. You know, I actually got stop. I actually got, I actually broke even the stock profit on this GN because um, it came down to one of my other entries that I had, like a buy stop. All I did was just re-entry. That's the re-entry that I had. <sighs> kept that re-entry, kept my same bull bias, and it just exploded up. Simple as that. I got my weekly candle. I mean, I got my weekly fib. I put, draw the weekly fib on it. Which is why, which is why I have that highlighted blue zone. I mean, the highlighted uh, purple zone which is that negative two seven on a weekly, which also lines up with, you know, this possible trend line that we have. Um, I can see, a, I can honestly see a break of this trend line, but obviously I would definitely take most of my, most of my profits here 
wait for that huge retracement probably back to this trend line that we have right here. I mean, it's literally, we're just sitting up there. We're getting in gold, you know what I'm saying? Go back to the daily. We're getting, you know, good price action. Golfing, Dragonfly, another engulfing, you know, so still keeping this bias all the way up. Try to put too many things on my chart so I won't be so confusing, confusing to me. Same thing with GJ. Same thing with GJ. Drew a nice little trend line. Got a nice little channel to the upside. Drew the field. Entered down here last week. No, enter here, excuse me. Enter here off the trend line touch. A little manipul manipulative spike came down. It was a phase. You see the four hour. I mean, if you drew the field, honestly, you could have seen, you know, you could have seen it come. I entered off that, you know, the 8 8 level, which on the four hour ended up closing a bullish and a bullish engulfing on the four hour. Then we get some, you know, come back up, come back down, get some consolidation, shake people up around, you know, consolidation around the trend line. I mean, it was, you know, it's on the way up anyway. Now we can see now that since we got this engulfing, I mean, we got this first true, this first, uh, push down, you know, it is on a four hour. So it's not, you know, definitely not a good, uh, definitely not seeing the whole picture. But if you're looking at the four hour, you can see that the trend line touches off that three, eight level, which also lines up with my six, one, eight, uh, six, one, eight level on this, uh, on the daily field. Now that we already, cause I honestly, I honestly, how I trade, I honestly treat fibs, as re-entry points um fibonacci is definitely definitely a powerful tool most of these traders and bankers use it um so that's why i say when i enter when i enter that buy stop on gn per se enter the buy stop on gn i pretty much just put i pretty much seen it was going to be you know an engulfing off the seven eight i pretty much just put i put a buy stop at the six one eight it came back down so i did have some drawdown with this but i mean Bias never changed. It just exploded, exploded up to the upside. So, but for what I see in GJ uh, right now, um, I definitely see. I mean, it's coming off this trend line. If you want to move this fib to the next engulfing off this four hour, hold up, next four hour right here. Yeah. So that three eight level looks really good for another uh, another re entry. Off the one hour now, we can see on the one hour if you want to go to a small time frame. Uh, it's also a daily zone. You feel me? So, if we draw a box, literally, if you draw a rectangle here, huge ass rectangle for my structure, guys, <clears throat> with the fib lined up with it, fib lined up, 3 8, trend line. Break structure retest. I can definitely see why. Like I said, I can definitely see why people, um, why you guys took that, took that by. Go to a small time frame, 15 minute. You get a bearish, uh, I mean, bullish, bullish doji, followed by the engulfing. Now, since we're going to the upside, uh, I, I'm, I'm honestly thinking about entering this actually right now myself. Um, just because it's off of this, you know, just strong trend line here and we're getting so much daily and go for off the trend line. This ain't nothing but the retest. Which the retest is always the bigger, the bigger load with this. So GJ and GN is what I'm looking at as far as right now. Uh trading right now. GU, I wasn't really looking too much. Uh recently I know Quill said he was waiting on that. I'm honestly waiting. Uh if we can. If we can get some type of retracement down here with that 618, maybe to hit that trend line. I know the dollar dollar is definitely a little strong. Um, I mean, we can just attest that with EU, obviously. Um, so I definitely see, you know, if the pound, the pound could get weak. Pound could definitely get weak. Uh, and push, push this down against the dollar, I say. Against the dollar, I say. Um, but, I mean, we, we'll have to see on that. GJ and GN is pretty much all I'm looking at. GA, I was trying to get, I was really trying to get a better entry down, down to hit that trend line if we could. We got that 50% retracement. Uh, 
we got an engulfing. Then we came right back on a four hour with a bearish engulfing. I feel like we can get another push down to the trend line um, for a nice little, nice little cipher entry. And if we can put the uh, off the trend line touch with the engulfing, if we put fibs, you know, seven, eight lines up right with that trend line, we could end up, it could end up ending, getting a wick entry uh, to that seven, eight or the seven, five zone to touch that trend line. And end up getting like the same same scenario how you know it touched that six one eight and end up engulfing on that four hour. I can see that happening again. Um, the same scenario like this, just down here at that seven eight six level. Uh, just pounds themselves. I mean, they're, the pounds and stuff is all they're all long. I'm all long on those. Uh, going to my stocks now. We got that a uh, little bit of retracement, little bit, uh, mm, yeah, a little bit of retracement for Kronos. I know I was telling people today, uh, telling people today to watch for that because um, earnings did come out today. Uh, earnings came out today, which definitely pushed that price down, and we're definitely below. Hold, on, let me change my uh, put the Ichimoku on. <clears throat> so yeah, four hour we broke out of this cloud. The twenty six day is above the nine day, which shows that you know we're going, we're heading down. I got my first re entry at that fifteen twenty five, and I got another another entry at twelve dollars ninety three cents. I don't know. I don't think it could. I don't know. Just with, I don't think it's gonna go down at two nine three fifteen twenty five is more likely where I would see. I mean, weed stocks are definitely. Everybody is definitely trying to hop on that wave uh, with Kronos. ACB been in here since been here since like seven bucks. Honestly, off that trend line, took some profits on that. Looking to re-entry, looking to re-enter off of this maybe around eight dollars. Could see, could see another trend line touch. Maybe uh, another trend line touch uh, at the bottom of that cloud or something like that. Only time will tell with that. CGC, I'm also expecting, also expecting some down, some downward push towards this. I got that highlighted zone with that 50 to that 618 and the bottom of that Ichimoku cloud. I can see a nice little re-entry port around $38, $40. Um, now with these stocks, I trade on Robinhood. I don't try to, don't try to get those perfect entries because at the end of the day, I mean, Weed is here to stay. It's still a new emerging market. Even if you don't get the perfect entry, you know, you don't have to put all your, you know, dollar cost average it. Don't put all your books in one entry point. So like, 30, so say if I enter here at $38 and I get a look, I got another, you know, give yourself, give yourself some type of uh, room, mar a little margin for error, a little bit of credit for that. Like if it, if it happens, go to $35, another entry. You know, if you got a hundred dollars, don't put the whole hundred in one entry. You know, try to spread your entries out so you can pretty much catch all of all of the move. Um, that's how I like to do. That's how I like to trade my stocks when I trade on Robinhood. Um, now for the trades, now for the, the the stocks that I actually trade, um, actually trade on on that market. Uh, I honestly just try to wait for, you know, stocks are a lot slower, but I try to still just wait on any type of price action. So the 50, 5618 on American Express, I can see this coming down about $100, which is also the bottom of this cloud. Also the bottom, yeah, also the bottom of that cloud. If you look on the weekly, you get a better uh, better picture on that. Now with stocks, I like to go with the monthly and weekly time frames just so I can see. I just, I mean, it's just, you just make more, more money. <laughs> it's just more money. Higher time frame, higher payout. Simple as that. Uh, like I said, down there, weekly zone, I'm looking at around $100 to, to get a nice little entry on that. Maybe off the 618. Uh, bottom of that cloud, whichever or Facebook. Facebook broke out of a nice little trend that we had. <clears throat> I can see this maybe, I could possibly see a head and shoulder forming. Um, I can draw a, uh, let me see, 
draw a little marker here. Did I wear my uh okay, yeah, brush. All right, I can definitely see a uh some type of maybe come up, maybe come up to here. I see that marking, bro. You saw what? Can't see it. You can't see it. All right. Hold on. Gotta change the color. Change the color, I got you. Uh, dang, how you change that? You gotta wear your whistle in there. It should be a little box right there, to you. Uh, it should be a little box that come up, but I'm, I'm trying to see. Oh, okay, I see. What's your name anyway? Uh, should get curvy. Yeah, I see white. Uh, white, make it white. Okay. It's better, yeah. It's better. All right. Uh, like I said, I definitely see a uh, head and shoulder form with the break of this trend line. I can definitely see that coming, coming down to that fifty, that fifty level, uh, around one fifty. Uh, the bottom of that cloud. That's on a daily time frame. <clears throat> that's a little daily time frame, man. Uh, Oh, so we got a little, huh? It's like a, uh, like a uh, fifty percent retracement. Mm -hmm. Fifty percent retracement. Then we also got a lot. We also got some consolidation. You look in the past. We got some consolidation around this area anyway. So I know a lot of people are looking to to put some buy orders in here. Um, just looking buy orders in there. So looking at history of the price to let us know um, your entry points. So that's my one on Facebook. Intel. Off a of trend line, looking for a nice little retracement. Uh, going to the daily, we go back to that last leg. See the cloud correlates with that seven eight. We could also see the six one eight. Also see a drop to the six one eight on the top of that cloud. But if not, definitely a killer zone would be that seven eight around forty seven forty eight dollar region. Uh, and I'm also looking to actually buy this stock because they pay dividends, Intel does, and I see a lot of upside with this because of the demand for semiconductors, graphic, um, GPU, things like that, um, with crypto mining starting to get a lot bigger, and just technology and computers. Technology is definitely advancing, so Intel would also have to do. They have great leadership. They've been a long, long-running company. You know, not a lot of, you know, you go back to the month, I mean, yeah, it was at all time highs, but I mean it nothing but correction was supposed to happen. So definitely see a lot of upside to this. I'm definitely seeing this could easily break, easily go to a hundred dollars. Definitely break this and go to like a hundred dollars. But months away, just for right now, I'm looking for a nice little retracement to get in and just ride that wave. IBM. IBM. Boy, boy, boy. And it's crazy because a lot of people be asking me like. Why are you why do you have IBM style? Like we're doing bad. Like, dog. Retracements are supposed to happen. Go to the month. IBM been out for a while, you know, since the 60s, you know what I mean? 70s. Huge bull, huge bull on like 2009. It's, well, it's nothing but a retracement. It had to happen. It had to happen. See the retracement down? That blue line is where I entered in. I picked up some stocks. Put up this company stocks. We up in that. I can still see this come down. You got a little nice trend line here. I can see it at 50% level on the daily, which is also correlate with the top of that cloud. Could go to the 618 to go to the, the bottom of the cloud, you know. Just depends how we uh how it plays out with the price action to really dictate entry point. Um Bank of America. Uh I expect Bank of America to hit this highlight zone around this that Ichimoku. Uh, it seems it's, it's getting close to it, um, but we're not there yet. I still feel like it's still got a little bit of room to fall. Um, fall down to the bottom of that, uh, around $26, $25. They also pay dividends, too. Um, a lot of – also, another thing, financial stocks um, are definitely a good asset to have or I guess definitely a good stock to have when the market's like the actual stock market, it, like the S&P is correcting itself because – when the economy goes bad, you know, interest rates get high, 
the banks get their properties back. <laughs> and as soon as they get their properties back, they're doing nothing but just coming back out or reselling them when, when people are ready to buy again. So, I mean, the banks are really, you know, the banks are definitely in control. And this is one of the cheaper, the cheaper financial, uh, financial bank stocks that you can buy. I mean, Bank of America hasn't even been out. You know, if we go to the monthly, it's been out, you know, 19, it's been out as 1973, 1972, yada, yada, but we ain't started really, it had a big, huge dip. Huge dip. I forgot what happened. I want to yeah, or something like that. I can't remember. Um, but I definitely see, I definitely see a lot more, you know, better traction now um, with this. But I'm just looking to see, looking to see our last note traction to that fifty, that fifty level. So good on that. Not really looking at Tesla, um, DXY, XPSS. Uh, honestly, I would, I would just buy this. Honestly, just now. Um, that purple line definitely hit my zone. That was that was my my zone that I that I bought these shares. Uh, it definitely went below this zone, so I just caught more, <laughs> just made more. Uh, as you can see, the XPSS is, is the the bear, basically shorting the S and P. Um, we go back to like 2009 when that big crash happened. Uh, it was issued then. Um, like 0809, we had a nice little retracement up again before, you know, the bulls took over in the S&P, which made this go down. Um, now that we've seen that everyone is, is in panic selling the markets, everyone's in panic selling the market, I could definitely see this coming back up. I mean, it's, it's definitely a stretch, but I, but I mean, technical levels, I mean, it's telling me around $6,000 that this could be, that this could possibly be, uh, possibly be up. Um, that's definitely not my take profit. Obviously, I'm waiting on my first take profit will also be, you know, the most recent high. So around forty dollars is when I will be looking to take profit, which is basically double whatever I put in from this time being. So if you're looking to make some, you know, a quick, quick couple bucks on this stock, definitely buy these because the S and P is definitely getting ready to fall as everything else too. Um these other stocks, uh, I don't. okay, here's a good one here. Um, Apple, hospitality, real estate. <sighs> Hit that 618, got a nice little jump. Still think it could fall. I honestly think it could fall to that 7, 8 level, 15, 15, 16 dollars, maybe hit. Maybe get a full retracement. Maybe get a full retracement. I'm not sure. If we go to the weekly time, weekly time frame, which is more ideal, you see why I got that highlight at 50 level. Um, highlight at 50 level on that. Which this stock, this stock, uh, this stock just came out as well. So not really that much data on like the monthly and weekly time frame. Um, but I mean the all time highs. I mean, this is, these are like, this is a stock where it's a real estate company, a real estate company that invests and have equity in, in real estate that helps with uh, hospitality. So uh, hospitals, um, senior citizen housing, uh, senior citizen housing, like, you know, y, like YMCAs or, you know, community centers, like things like, like shelters, things like that. Um, to help the well-being of someone, so I mean, that's I find that's always going to be always going to be useful. So I'm definitely seeing this, definitely seeing this big bargain, and they pay high, high, high dividends. I'm talking about like 11 percent, 10 percent. So just by holding the stock, just by having a stock, I mean, you're getting paid every month through these uh, through these dividends, um, and entering the way, and also entering also entering the way. Uh, getting good entries on the price itself. I mean, if you ever want to sell the stock, I mean, you also get the profit and you have equity in the stock itself. Uh, so, I mean, that's, that's definitely two ways to make money there. If you ever need, you know, if you ever want to sell it, do it. If you, the, more you, the more shares you hold, the more dividends get paid out every month. So just be mindful of that. Uh, Tilray, 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 Tilray. My kills on for Tilray, which might be 
one of my next favorite stocks next one of my favorite cannabis stocks next to next to uh canopy growth and um canopy growth and acb um this because there's a big this because i see there's a gap there um it's not a lot of data. I mean, the company just got released last year, <laughs> last year in like July. So the years, the company's been a year in. Uh, and it was actually, let me tell you the story behind this. It was actually smart. Uh, they released the IPO right before, um, right before they were, they got, uh, they got approved for a clinical trial uh, for CBD um, and THC treatments on uh, Alzheimer's patients. And that clinical trial passed. Uh, as you can see, you know, anything medical and clinical clinical study passes or, or something gets approved. I mean, investors, big boys are all in this. I'm talking about within, I'm talking about like, oh, let me see. Like these, that's a four hour. You can see like in just a day, like just on each daily candle. I mean, I mean, you're getting jump, I mean, you're getting gaps, gaps, gaps. I mean, jumps. Some people taking profits, still just smashing it, like. Every day the market open, almost every day the market open, like it gapped up, like just about maybe got one gap down. Went all the way, it got all the way up to like three hundred dollars, almost three hundred dollars. Like with cannabis, like cannabis, the way that it's gonna go, this could easily, this could easily, easily go to, to be like that, like a like a Amazon, Google type thing. Like I can definitely see this happening, like just because of. Just because where Tilray is heading with their with their treatments, I mean they're, they're expanding in the African markets. They're expanding in places. They're expanding in places where 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 I mean TAC and cannabis is. I mean is needed for for medical use per se. Um, a lot of people are, are getting away from the the regular pharmaceutical chemicalized pills. I mean. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of, you know, pharmaceutical. I'm not big. I'm not a big fan of investing in pharmaceuticals because one failed test or one big like defect or recall could just destroy the stock. Um, but with you're working with like a natural product such as cannabis and the way that the market is getting ready to go, I would be stupid not to buy this. Even even right now, I like even if I bought it at sixty seven dollars, sixty six dollars, like I wouldn't even be mad because I mean. Think about where, it, like, you know what I'm saying, where it came from. Like, it came from $300, and it can definitely get the potential to smash this all-time high. Like, I would not feel bad about that at all, like, because I'm looking at the longer goal anyway. Um, looking at that longer goal, I mean, you're in pro I mean, you might as well say you're in profit before, before, they even, before it even take off. Like, news doesn't lie, technical doesn't lie. Apple, Apple, Apple. Like I said, I'm looking for Apple to definitely make a retracement. Looky there, looky there. Remember what I told Trav? I was telling Trav about that yesterday. Um, definitely talking to Trav about that yesterday. Uh, the Apple did not have, definitely wasn't strong. Wasn't a strong, uh, strong release by Apple. So I'm definitely seeing, I can definitely see Apple come back to like, Around uh, around 120, 130, might even go that low. Maybe could maybe could just you know come down to that uh, to that low, or 140 give you that that double top. I mean mm, double bottom scenario. But my ultimate kill zone for Apple stock will probably be around 120, 130. I would like to buy some of these if I have the capital to do that. If not, I'll just trade it off of Hugo's way, just like I do with American Express, Intel, IBM, Bank of America. Um, so pretty much, I mean, it's, it's definitely millions of ways to, to how you can make money in the stock market with, with the way that the trading is now. I mean, you got Hugo's ways you can actually trade certain stocks themselves. You got Robinhood, you can actually buy the entire stock and hold the actual stock. And you have the dividend from that company, if that company gives out dividends. Um, and also having that equity in the share price itself. Um, so that's, that's, that's four ways alone. Um, four ways alone that you can take advantage of, of these moves in the stocks, which is why I fell in love with them uh, and why I started using my analysis with that. Um, that's all I have.
now if anybody else got anything to say. Bro, you just said the whole enchilada. Yeah, I, know I, I appreciate it. I know I you went lot. from Forex. I thought yeah. you were going to jump into crypto real quick. I know you've been <laughs> looking at Ripple. Nah, um, I probably won't. I probably won't. I'm still I'm still back testing on my Ripple stuff though. Now I I mean I do got markups, don't get me wrong. Yeah. I do got markups, don't get me wrong, but I mean uh, I know you got something there, but you know what I'm saying? It's it's a little bit too you know, it's a little bit too volatile to me. I gotta get some type of something steady. Gotta, yeah, some some grounding before I start, you know, getting on crypto. But when crypto actually sets in like 24 7 market, my dude, you can't beat that. Like absolutely. Yeah, but that's all I got, man. IE Invest, man. Appreciate hey, it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this was another FGM Management and Profitable Pro and IE Investing video. If you liked the video, give us a, a thumbs up. If you didn't, give us a thumbs down and tell us what we did wrong. But I know you loved it. Um, if you are watching this, please join our Telegram group. Every single day, we're giving technical, fundamental analysis. And uh, once again, we love you and thank you. Take care and keep making pips.